Hi, I'm Bob Tadovich, President of Network Solutions, and I am excited to tell you about one of the most significant market transitions that I've seen in, in the IT industry in about 25 years. Um, Cisco recently announced, as you know, um, their, their DNA center, um, which will change the industry for the next 20 to 30 years conservatively. Um, why will it change the industry? Two primary reasons. Number one, um, in, this, in this era of increasing security risk, it's going to reduce your security risk while at the same time reducing your operating expenses. How are they going to do that? First, first of all, the issue we face right now is for the last 30 years, we have only accumulated less than 10 billion devices, internet devices, about one per person on the earth. By the year 2020, experts are expecting 20 billion, so we're going to double within the next two and a half years of, of network devices. And by 2025, we're going to have five times as many. We're going to have 50 billion devices um, facing the internet on our networks as we have today. Why is this an issue? The attack surface now for hackers, every, every LED IP light, every wireless access point, every IP sensor, every um, new network device that we put on, our, on the network becomes a potential area of, of, of security breach. The other issue is network administrators who are adding HVAC devices and servers onto their network are going to be adding devices to the network at such a rapid pace, they're not going to be able to keep up with all the security policies of their organization. They're not going to be able to keep up with the quality of service policies of the organization to make, make sure that video or voice or mission critical applications are delivered in time. So Cisco has a strategy where they're going to integrate three different technologies in order to accomplish increased security and reduced operating ex expenses. First, they're automating all network devices, switches, routers, wireless access points, with a controller that will sit in the background uh, with software-defined capabilities where we'll be able to automate the configuration of a switch, of a router, of a wireless access point, of a, a, a WAS device, of a firewall, uh, to the point where it's point and click, apply this policy to this device, uh, reducing what used to take 40 hours for a, a new branch office, configuring all the equipment, to five to seven minutes, conservatively. So we're reducing our time to configure and manage the devices, but at the same time, by also integrating, in addition to the automation piece, by integration, uh, integrating Cisco's security tools, ICE, Identity Services Engine, automatically all security policies, which traditionally took a long time to configure and were very complex and were very prone to human error, will automatically be deployed. As, as, as we point and click to add new devices to your network, we'll be pointing and clicking, adding pre-configured, pre-scripted security policies. So automatically, um, security policies will be implemented where in the past, uh, network administrators, security administrators didn't have the time to, to apply all the security uh, policies, nor, nor did they have the perfection to do it properly. It's very complex. So if we can automate those, t those two tasks, um, we increase our security and we reduce our, our operating expenses. The third leg on the stool is, is analytics. Um, Cisco has made extensive investments in network analytics, such as StealthWatch, um, such as Tetration Analytics. They've made uh, investments in application uh, analytics, such as uh, AppDynamics. They've even acquired companies that will help you secure hosted software applications such as Salesforce.com, Office 365. So what they can do now is not, not only automate the configuration and the policy enforcement on your network, they can then proactively be watching every packet that goes up and down your network, every uh, code, line of code that executes on your, on your applications. They can watch every flow going out to salesforce.com or, or, or cloud applications. They can see anomalies, they can report anomalies, they can, they can um, identify and, 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 and mitigate uh, risks from these anomalies. So while we increase um, your security, we're actually going to be decreasing um, your operating expenses. It, it's uh, IDC um, did a report on, on Cisco's pilot customers who, who implemented DNA Center there's a 402% ROI. Um, ju just on the time savings alone, 
they didn't include the increased security in their calculation. So for, for me, um, in, this, in this era where we're going from 10 billion to 20 billion to 50 billion devices, our, our security attack surface is, is growing exponentially. While that's happening, we're going to be decreasing our customers' security vulnerabilities. I, I, I can't tell you how excited I am about the, the product. I can't, I can't tell you how excited I am about helping our customers um, learn how to grow their security while they decrease, uh, while they save money. Thanks for joining me.